Hello library friends and welcome to Die November. If you stopped by the new Brighton Public Library this weekend, you got your hands on a really cool fossil ornament to take and make. Let's get started. Once you've gotten everything out of the way, you're going to grab everything out of that plastic bag, including your air dry clay, a little piece of ribbon, your super cool dinosaur fossil, and a straw. Hmm. Go ahead and grab yourself some scissors and let's open up that model magic clay, shall we? Once you get the clay out of the bag, you're going to roll it into a ball. And once you think you have the perfect ball, you are going to flatten it just like that. Boy, I wish I had a rolling pin in the office. I could really use... No, this is perfect. Once you've rolled it out a couple times, grab that little dinosaur fossil of yours and place it in the center of the uh, air dry clay just to give you an idea of how much more you need to roll to make it wider. And then after that, figure out how you want to place your little fossil there and press it right into the clay. Right when you have your dinosaur fossil where you want her, keep her there and then grab your straw and make a little circle somewhere on the top of your ornament and then carefully take your dinosaur fossil out. Afterwards, you're going to grab some water and with the tips of your fingers, you're going to smooth out all those rough edges so you have a nice, smooth ornament once it dries. Now, this next step is optional, but all artists sign their work. So grab yourself a toothpick and put your initials somewhere on your ornament. And here comes the hardest part, letting it dry for 24 hours. And now you can start to paint. <laughs> But hey, listen, if you don't want to paint your dinosaur ornament and you like it just the way it is, awesome. Don't touch a thing. I decided I wanted to paint mine red. Need some paint? Maybe some paint brushes? We can help there too. Stop in a library system location for some paint and paint brushes. We're a dino mite like that. Okay. Is your dino on the naughty or nice list? Well, you can find out yourself because Letters to Santa is back. Just visit any library location and write your letter to Santa. November 26th through December 17th. Letters received by December 8th have a chance of being read by Santa himself during our virtual Polar Express program through Facebook Live. That's right. We've got the man, the toy, the legend coming to Beaver County Library System again in 2021. So just join us for a special virtual event, the Polar Express on Friday, December 10th at 5.30 p.m. to see if your letter to Santa has been read. Let's see if that dinosaur is naughty or nice too. Now, if you're more of a herbivore, join us again for Fresh and Floral with the Mayflower Florist. Say that five times fast. The next workshops will be at the Chippewa Branch Library. You will be making a beautiful fresh wreath or a beautiful succulent centerpiece. Contact Chippewa Branch Library for details on how you can register with the Mayflower Florist in December. On a more somber note, Children's Grief Awareness Day is on November the 18th and each and every library location is focusing on this day. So please stop by any library location and color a butterfly for someone that you've lost or for somebody who is going through the grieving process. Also on November the 20th, the Carnegie Free Library of Beaver Falls is partnering with the Highmark Caring Place for a story time, some crafts and resources for both children and adults. And don't forget, Die November is happening until the end of November. So don't forget to like and follow all of the Beaver County Library System pages to see just what they have in store with their dinosaurs. 
I can't believe he ate Bernie's cake. I thought he was gluten-free. Hmm. Strange. <laughs>